family welcome to the channel and thank you so much for coming back if you are new here today my name is Francine and in this channel I talk about my weight loss journey lifestyle cooking traveling experience I do vlog I talk about nature I also talk about anything that comes in my mind that could you know serve as an inspiration to our society do not destroy the work of God for the sake of food. All food is clean, but it is wrong for a person to eat anything that causes someone else to stumble. Romans 14 verse 20 as you can see today I'm in the kitchen and I'm going to cook with you guys some Kentucky Fried Chicken. Oh yes. If you are one of those people that loves chicken, today we are going to make Kentucky Fried Chicken. This is my way of making a chicken and I hope that you learn something from me so that you could save your money. You know when you want to eat Kentucky Fried Chicken, you don't have to go there and actually buy one. You can make one for yourself. And today I'm going to share with you how you can make all that happen and save your cash you know it's very expensive outside <laughs> so if you know how to make one for yourself I'm sure that will save you some cash so let's get into it let's learn I got everything set up so I'm gonna go with you and work with you one by one till we get something good Mm, I can't wait so yeah let's do it so I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys some ingredients that you will need to make this fried chicken so first thing face you gotta have chill powder and I'm gonna list down everything so that it's easier for you garlic powder we have ground turmeric, we have all papers, flour, you're gonna need salt, you're gonna, you're gonna need soy sauce, you're gonna need ketchup, you're gonna need black pepper, and finally uh, you're gonna need uh, ginger paste. And garlic paste, but I didn't find that, so I'll be me. I'll be using this also garlic and ginger mixing on this. You can see it very well. So this is what I'm gonna be using along with my <laughs> chicken, of course. So let's get started. Okay. So now we're going to start mixing up our seasoning and this is how I normally do. I start with soil, sauce and notice that I'm doing 4 tablespoons. This is because I have a lot of chicken right there. If you don't have that many chicken you can just do 2 to 3 tablespoons. So I'm doing 4 because I have a lot and I'm mixing it with ketchup as you see I'm adding ginger because I couldn't found ginger paste that's already done or garlic paste so I added a little bit of ginger along with this prego I'm not sure if I pronounced that right <laughs> from there I'm going to add um, black pepper and I'm doing one tablespoon and then from there I will add salt but at this point I'm not gonna put salt simply because I don't like to eat that much salt so I'm using this tomato uh, seasoning that you can find anywhere in the grocery shopping from there I'm just gonna mix that up very well and then start dipping my chicken into this mixture of my seasoning and it's as simple as that guys <laughs> so as you can see just grab your chicken and start mixing up with all your seasoning and uh, from there we'll go to our next step which will be our final <laughs>
so like I said our final step of our mixture will be this one grab all papers flour again depending on how many chicken you have if you don't have that much you don't need this much mix that with one tablespoon of garlic powder and then add one tablespoon of ground turmeric you can find this seasoning in anywhere in a grocery shopping add that with chili powder you know and then from there you're going to add a little bit of salt you know notice that I didn't add salt before because I knew I was gonna add that at the end and therefore I didn't want it to be too much you know so yeah you add that uh, in, uh, you add that in and then you mix up everything just like I'm doing from there you're done so after seasoning your flour next step will be to apply your seasoned flour on your chicken just like I'm doing right here I normally like to pour my chicken in the warm water and then repeat the same process I mean you don't have to do this but it is recommended this is simple because when you're trying to fly them it's gonna come out very very good but if you don't do this it doesn't mean that it won't come out good it will still come out good but this is just how I do it and I like doing it this way so just pour your chicken back in the warm water and then repeat the same application and finally it's time to fly them Kentucky Fried Chicken yeah so uh, this is my favorite part of the entire process y'all because i know when i'm right here i'm almost done <laughs> yeah it's always good to eat kentucky fried chicken with some fries but I really want to eat this chicken with some plantain so I went ahead and start preparing my plantain so that they can be ready by the time my chicken is done and guys I'm so hungry I just can't wait to eat for real <laughs> there we go guys you see how it came out really good like there is no difference between this chicken and the one you can get from KFC like I'm dead serious try this out guys and let me know so far the only issue with this is that it is time consuming other than that if you are home and you got all the time in the world to make this there is no reason why you should spend money outside you can make this for yourself check this out guys see how it looks good oh man i can't wait to eat <laughs> so I went ahead and used the same oil to fly my plantain Dans cet temps, 
Une photographie, et Branham l'est en prise, nous a dit c'est que c'est. Le voilà qui retourne avec son église enlevée, le fils de David qui vient régner. Here comes our Kentucky Fried Chicken. Let's pray and enjoy our meal. Lord Jesus, thank you for the breath of life, O oh Lord. Thank you for this food, God. Ask that you bless it. Bless where it came from. Bless who prepared them. And please, Lord, ask that you remove all calories in Jesus Christ's name so that I don't have to worry about gaining a pound while enjoying this meal that you provided for me. Please, Lord, give patience those who are going to watch me eating and provide them with meal of their desire. Thank you for your love and mercy. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. Time to eat Yo This food is good. Check your fried chicken. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Don't worry about them away. I already pray God to remove all calories so I can enjoy my meal in peace. So don't worry about that. Tell you all. Thank you so much guys for watching. If you watch to the end, God bless your heart. Please like, share and comment. Don't forget to subscribe guys. And hey, if you like my recipe, please go ahead and comment down below and let me know what you think. And please try this out like it's so good. Like, mm -mm. You can never go wrong with this. Try it out and let me know. And I will see you guys. Thank you so much. God bless you.